University of Florida telecommunications student, staff writer for the Independent Alligator and WUFT reporter Malia Leiden endured the oppressive heat to cover the June 25th protest outside the GRU administrative building. She posted the story on her Twitter account almost immediately, including a proclamation of grievances demanding that Mayor Lauren Poe resign from the city commission. The utility advisory board meeting was uneventful, however, attorney Nathan Scopp attended the meeting to comment as expert witness in order to protect the public interest. With bio, expensive biomass power. It was the worst utility contract in the country, paying four times the market rate for electricity. Now people can't, but the poor can't afford to turn on their air conditioners. They're living in mold infested homes. And now Mayor Poe wants to make them pay more while he's off to Hawaii on a taxpayer funded trip. Shameful. Following the protest, the Utility Advisory Board met. At the meeting, board members like Carla Miles talk about the importance of increasing community engagement to ensure residents feel acknowledged and heard. The protesters came with a proclamation of grievances. The residents endorsing this proclamation call for Mayor Lauren Poe to resign immediately. They feel the mayor is not protecting the safety of GRU ratepayers and more. Proclamation of Grievances and Failed Performance of Mayor Lauren Poe Whereas the mayor has abandoned his sworn oath to protect the safety of Gainesville citizens, GRU ratepayers and property owners by imposing unnecessary increases in utility rates, property and fire assessment taxes in order to fund catered meals, junkets and various extravagances, and whereas the mayor has demonstrated contempt and disdain for members of the public who attempt to ask questions and has sought to change the rules for citizen comment at city commission meetings in order to silence and castigate his critics. And, whereas the mayor's choice for interim city manager fails to inspire confidence with a record of financial cover-up when she was fired from her Birmingham job as chief of staff to Larry Langford, in order to restore confidence in government related to a $20 million international financial scandal. And, whereas the mayor's choice for interim city manager has engaged in unlawful tactics and hostile retribution to force resignation of the city auditor following his report that exposed the Gainesville Police Department's Reichert House Youth Project as financially and operationally corrupt. And, whereas the mayor is presiding over a municipality with no auditor, permanent city manager, and a police department unable to fill numerous critical vacancies. And, whereas the mayor has endangered the financial future of the city by adopting high-risk bond issues that increase the risk of municipal bankruptcy. And, whereas the mayor has made no attempt to reduce the debt by adopting budget cuts proposed by the interim city manager. And, whereas the mayor has encumbered the city with unnecessary debt and atmospheric pollution by attending a lavish and unnecessary U.S. Mayor's Conference in Honolulu, Hawaii, located outside the continental United States. And, whereas the mayor has demonstrated stark hypocrisy and disregard for his alleged position on biomass generation as a solution to global warming, when he embraced round-trip airline travel to transit a distance of over 9,000 miles, generating an inordinate tonnage of carbon dioxide gases. And, Whereas the Conference of Mayors has unacceptably partnered with the Anti-Defamation League to suppress constitutionally guaranteed First Amendment criticism of Israel. Now, therefore, by the authority of Gainesville residents 
who endorsed this proclamation of grievances, hereby call for the immediate resignation of Lauren Poe as mayor of the city of Gainesville, Florida. What we got to say about it? Yeah. Well, it's definitely hurting the poor people, man. You know, we, we're definitely out here fighting uh, for their cause and their right. And, you know, we, we, we have a right to because you we, we care about you. them. We have a heart for the people, a real heart. Yeah. We're not just out here standing up out here without a cause, just talking just to be talking. We're out here because we do care about the community and, and people that are out here. So, you know, as long as we are out here helping make a cause and letting the people see it and know it and that we do care, they do see that somebody is out here helping make a positive change for the city of Gainesville and how we can make a difference. We did this a few years ago and got just got some people from the east side and involved in speaking out. And the feeling I got was that the people who are, have been in debt to GRU so much, they're afraid to speak out because they've been blackmailed by the system because they're afraid something bad will happen if they speak out and they still got cash due on their bills. Right. So things will get what, worse. What they fail to realize as long as, as they don't, as long as they fail to speak out, it, it's something that's bad is bound I to know, happen. I know. It's not the fact that if you speak out, something bad is going to happen. You need to speak out because you are concerned. Yeah. You you are a part of the community. Yeah. You know, whether you own Clay Electric or, or GRU, the fact that it's hurting other people is not helping you any because you own Clay Electric. Clay, Clay Electric could have the same problem sometime soon. Might. You know, so you need to be concerned. Yeah. Well, they won't have a biomass plant to pay off. Yeah. Uh, so the, your sign says pose on opium? Yeah, opium, other people's money. Oh, okay, I thought it was a drug. No, no. Well, money is a drug, isn't it? Huh? Money is a drug, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Especially when being taken out of your pocket and That's putting right. it in other people's pockets. It's, it's their drug. Blood. They sniff it right out. Yeah, they sniff it right on out. <laughs> I love it. Though. Yeah. All right, well, we got some biomass signs here. Okay, okay. Are you recording that? Yeah, do you mind? Okay. Okay.